Yeah, it was a great weekend. Uh, all five of us completed it together, so it was a real team effort um, along with everyone else. But most important thing, obviously, is the awareness raised for prostate cancer and the money raised for hopefully uh, combating prostate cancer. Um, so tell us about the journey. You started where you started, where you finished, and how it went. Yeah, so we started at Oakwell, uh, Barnsley Football Club. Um, so there was 140-ish riders that went from there. The uh, same amount of numbers went from London. Um, so we, our, our um, distance was initially Barnsley to Hull, um, which was 71-ish miles on the first day. Uh, so we set off at about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, quite nervous, but excited at the same time. Um, Holly and Deb, so two of the girls, had done quite a bit of training. John, uh, John Widdison had also done. He's, you know, he's a keen cyclist, but myself and Andy, not so much. Um, so we're very much amateurs in terms of cycling. Uh, but yeah, we, we, it was a, a real, a real good day that first day. So it was, it was a tough day, lots of up and down, um, quite, co quite cool at times as well. Um, but again, lots of um, good camaraderie, lots of good teamwork. Um, and you know, a real good community day that first day with the other clubs and the other cyclists that were doing it. We then got a ferry across from Hull um, over to Rotterdam, so it was a 13 and a half hour ferry in a, in a cabin, um, not very big to say the least, so there's four of us in a cabin, bunk beds, um, so it was a, after a, you know, a long day in the saddle and sore legs, uh, sore back and definitely a sore backside, um, it, was a, you know, it, was a, it was a funny old night. Um, but then yeah, we arrived in Rotterdam um, got off and it was at about, again about nine o'clock in the morning that we started um, the Rotterdam to Amsterdam so the, the final day so um, 75-ish miles I think it was in the end um, the second day really flat but really hot and um, so I found the second day tougher um, just because you're pedaling all the time and um, obviously the day before lots of up and down you get your your chance to to have a bit of a respite I suppose whereas the second day it was constant pedaling um, but no really rewarding um, fantastic obviously for, for ourselves to, to represent the football club um, but more importantly again as I've said it's, it is all around prostate cancer because it's been very important to the football league and Burton Albion Community Trust this year getting behind the, the prostate cancer campaign and so much has been achieved over the course of this this season yeah absolutely I, I, you know, it's been a 12 month campaign really for us um, started with lots of different things that we've done from match day collections, from supporting different events, from um, five-a-side tournaments, all, you know, lots of different things that we've done. Um, ultimately, just raising awareness for the 12 months. The support of the club's been great. Um, us as volunteers, so Deb Bacon, Holly Benton, John Widdis, Andy Taylor and myself have been, you know, it hasn't just been a weekend away. It's been 12 months, not hard work. It's been very enjoyable, but quite rewarding. Um, the Football League, Obviously, have had you know, put a lot of support into prostate cancer, and I think it's evidence with. You know, I think it's four hundred thousand pounds. The total's up to now um, over the you know for the bike ride on, on its own, um, and just being involved in something on a national scale is important to me, but, but ultimately important to football club and, and nationally. It's been you know something everyone should be really proud of.